Tired of losing with Tychus? Well, I'm going to show you some ways to get better in this episode of Mistakes Newbies Made. Tychus on the surface looks like a simple enough hero to play. In reality though, he is one of the harder assassins to play correctly. Overkill is your most important skill, but bear in mind it is a channeled skill. This means your Q can be interrupted, so you'll want to watch out for heroes with stuns. Many new players will use his skill incorrectly by shooting at the air because their target went out of range. Simply cast Q again on a new target while channeling and your gun will aim at the new target. While using your Q to do some damage while chasing an enemy is fine, what you really want to be doing is walking parallel with your enemy as this allows you to auto attack after your Q has finished if need be. If you are running from a battle, be sure to kite the enemy to scare them off from chasing you any further. Q will hit everything in its cone, so make sure you are positioning yourself to hit all of your targets. Finally, look at this clip to see how I am using the strafe that Q provides to better position myself to attack the enemy's core. I am never attacking anything else but the core here, and I am also staying away from the enemy heroes so that they cannot attack me. See how Vala is using her ult, but I am positioned on the other side of the core so none of her damage can reach me. By the time they caught me, it was too late. The most common mistake new players make when using frag grenade is throwing one on top of a fleeing hero only to push them further away from you and your team and thus allowing the enemy to escape. Instead, what you want to be doing is knocking the fleeing enemy hero back towards you and your teammates. To do this, you have to be close enough so that your W can fire in front of the enemy. Be sure to use your W on structures, mercs, and minions as well because it does plenty of damage to them all. Also, you can use W to save your teammates. This Raynar is being chased. I throw a grenade in front of the chasing enemy to knock him away from my teammate. This gives my teammate the time he needs to escape alive. Surprising to a lot of new Tychus players, your E is not often used for initiating combat. Instead, use run and gun in combination with your Q to help ensure that you are close enough to your target to be doing damage. Or better yet, to counter the enemy's quick moves. It is also a very effective way to dodge enemy attacks, and can be used to run away from a bad team fight. So let's watch a clip where I put all of this together to save a teammate from death. I am just coming off a respawn and see my Nova is being chased. When I reach her, I throw my grenade at the enemy to knock them away from her. Cue the Mirrodin to kite him as I knew he would chase us, and notice how I am intentionally putting my body between the Nova and them to body block potential damage. Like the hammer that is thrown at Nova, but hits me instead. Finally, I E to reach my own safety. The Nova survives with a sliver of health. Both of Tigus's heroic abilities are extremely powerful if used correctly. With Odin, you want to avoid using it, then run running into a team fight. You may look massive and powerful, but you will quickly be prioritized and killed or be forced to retreat, thus having wasted your heroic. Instead, use Odin to gain the advantage in a 1v1. While not the most ideal use of your heroic, it is better than dying, or use it to kill an unsuspecting enemy. A mistake new players would make is attacking then ulting. See how I hid in this bush as to not allow my victim to know I'm about to unleash a fiery nuke on her head? I allow the animation to finish, then I attack. And in this clip, I am suspecting a big team fight is about to happen as the enemy team is pushing mid lane. I position myself near the back and out of harm's way to transform into Megazord. Take a look at where I am placing my W attack. I aim it where I believe the enemy will be in a couple seconds, not where they currently are positioned. The enemy is attacking us right now and has the initiative, so I place it in front of where they are. I follow up with my cues when it is available, auto attacking in between. Now the enemy is retreating, so I fire my nukes behind them, and again I use my cue to finish them off. We went on to win the game from there and all thanks to some good positioning. The laser drill is much harder to place correctly since if you place it poorly it will almost always immediately be destroyed. The laser is best used when fighting over an objective. You'll want to position the laser close enough that it can hit the enemy but still have the protection of your allies. Just like with your Q you can change targets with R so to prioritize assassins over tanks for example. While that was a decent placement for my laser, if their entire team was there, it would have been destroyed easily. With this clip, my laser was being extremely annoying to the enemy team. Whenever they were near the tribute, it would hit them, and it caused enough damage to the Jaina that she had to retreat. But look where the fight is happening. The enemy reacted and my laser was not close enough to the tribute to push the enemy further away. We win mostly due to the opponent's misplays. Here we are trying to cap Bruiser Camp, and I know that the enemy is going to try to contest. Anticipating this, I have already started to play my laser. We are too fortified, they don't have a chance. Finally, in this replay, the red team is us, and I sneak up to find that the enemy is about to cap the boss camp. Knowing that my teammates are coming from the lower right, where would you place the laser? 
We all want to be in the circle, so my laser is perfectly placed to contest the circle since it is far enough away that they cannot attack it, but close enough to deal damage. We fight over the circle for a while, and even though I die, my laser is still around to do work. Which is another cool feature of the laser, since if you know you're about to die, you can throw down the laser and possibly still pick up a kill. And don't be afraid to use it defensively as well. You can scare off the enemy from 1v1ing you where you know you would lose.